Hi, this is Alex with TransWest in Denver. Proud to introduce our 2021 Western Star Lomax with a brand new Boydston 80 foot trailer. So the Boydston is more of a boutique shop for head racks and trailers. Uh, it's a small quantity, high attention to details and quality. Um, I will go ahead and do a walk around the trailer going to the truck first real fast we got Maxima LED lights this Western Star is powered by the DD13 Detroit 505 horsepower 1850 torque and it's 500 pounds lighter than the Cummins for a family 2 horsepower rating it has a 13 speed manual transmission 200 pound 200 gallons capacity for diesel as you look uh, in the cab you will see uh, premium owner operator finishes, uh, heated leather seats. You have a more classic trucker style dash with the gauges. All the gauges are removable and you can place them wherever you want. The switches are marine grade switches. This is a nice touch for your GPS when they're on the top of the dash. You don't have cables hanging around. Uh, diamond tuck cover beautiful overhead and then the room for which the Western Star is legendary this is a 54 inch sleeper it's a 35 inch bunk plenty of room to sleep beautiful big window and then you have a door on the other side with your auxiliary HVAC it has a Webasto heater you can control your temperature the sound of the music back there between the bunk and the base of the seat you have 20 inches that is enough room to fit an RV fridge without taking the front seat off and then between the seat you got 25 inches that's uh, almost 8 inches more than the competitors uh, it's nice to have a lot of room into a car holder big windows Western Star lowers the chassis over the frame rail and the engine in the frame rail as well as the axles the low axles and the low suspensions so it gives you really nice visibility only 102 inches to the top of the roof and uh, uncut roof so you have plenty of room we're gonna switch to the trailer since we have a new trailer I'm really excited to go over that this is a battery shutoff switch it's nice if you go on vacation save your batteries uh, this particular Boyston has the bullet lights all around. It comes handy to kind of see uh, where your trail is at night. Um, and they built their uh, hydraulic system with a high flow capacity of uh, 7 gallons per minute instead of 5. Uh, it's really nice. It prevents uh, the fluids from overheating. Uh, and um, they have also added the bunch of really nice items so this is a diverter valve that they have over uh, under their property valve banks that allows you to run the hydraulics on the trailer while it's disconnected uh, pardon me on the truck while it's disconnected so uh, that would normally seize your feedings uh, here you just have to turn this valve to the right it'll divert the old pressure and now you can reconnect your trailer no problem or you can do it before or after disconnecting the trailer the valve bank here is really beautiful. Um, I like the detail and the craftsmanship of their valve banks. I think uh, it really stands out. The uh, number six deck here is 185 inches uh, to the back of those flippers. So it's uh, very similar to the Cottrell size. Uh, they do, however, include a sliding fifth wheel. So when it's fully uh, extended, it's a 24 inch slide. You're actually over 80 foot um, because the trailer to the front of those flippers well, they're, not, they're not really flippers they look like them but this is, this is fixed it's 29 foot for the belly so all the way to uh, the tandem axle and then just like Cottrell they have 120 inches uh, overhang uh, behind the tandem I like how they tuck all the equipment neatly into the frame rails where it's accessible uh, you see here uh, on the right hand side uh, there um, some of their uh, LED lights for loading. Another nice touch is uh, zinc coated ratchets. Um, 
not only they are zinc coated which is nice prevents rust um, you also have like two little holes over here uh, to keep them lubricated and then uh, if ever one would be to fail permanently uh, this little bolt over here you can remove it and that will allow you to slide the whole ratchet out place a new one and you're done no need to take it to a welder um, as we go back towards the back of the truck um, this is the rear valve of the bank rear bank valve pardon me and then uh, here we have some interesting features you have weight gauge on the truck and the trailer um, this is very handy uh, I like that they put that on almost every truck and this is something they do that I haven't seen other guys do which is really great this black box has schematics for all your lights on your trailer and they're divided by zones so if you have some lights that fail it's very easy to look at that box and see which fuse is responsible for failing it really makes it much easier to troubleshoot save some time on the electrical system um, I like the quality of their uh, box um, they have a nice toolbox here this is uh, homemade as well as the toolbox that houses uh, the yardstick and then this is really cool too instead of having a flag you have a, an extendable uh, tail light here so you can extend it to match the overhang of your car it also serves as brake lights uh, so that's pretty cool this specific unit has strobe lights which is really awesome we have uh, the separate shutoff valve with the tire max tire inflation also very easy to access on the side uh, that's pretty neat this one has the uh, tire max inflation of course and then just uh, Really beautiful clean finish all around. Uh, this trailer is for sale, ready on the ground. It's a sister truck, it's coming in uh, probably a few weeks. Um, the nice advantage for uh, Boydston, beside the quality of uh, build, it's also lightweight. So I'll have a weight slip tomorrow that I will post, but this will probably be around uh, 42 6 on the weight full of fuel uh, you see here how they uh, redid our exhaust pipes right it to the outside which is really nice prevents circulating heat under the truck and towards the tires that's a Boydston uh, option here and the hydraulic uh, electric over hydraulic is nicely tucked into a, a box to protect it from water which is causes uh, a lot of failures if you don't protect it from water they don't last ladders on both sides just a beautiful finish overall if you have any questions about this Western Star, please call me. My name is Alex at Transwest Trucks at 303-301-7400. Thank you very much.